Welcome to another Rebel Little Walkthrough. I'm back at it with Dragon's Dogma 2. I do want to say thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all of support. All the members of the Rebel family appreciate you guys. Yeah, let's get into it. Picking up right where we left off. About to tackle the Nameless Village. That seems like it's the closest one for me to do. So we do have to go to this area. I did end up stumbling upon the Nameless Village by accident. So it looks like we do have a sizable journey ahead of us. I'm just going to go tackle it during the night. Probably will end up being day by the time I get over there. So I'm going to start my journey. The bigger and stronger foes like to lurk at night. They're still out in the day, but at nighttime, it's like they really come out of nowhere. There are times when they just pile up <laughs> while I'm fighting one. Another one just pops up out of nowhere. It happens a lot. It sounds like there's more enemies. I just haven't seen them yet. You usually could tell your enemies by the music that's played in the background, even though it's difficult to see, especially at night. So these guys are weak against fire. So having somebody on your team who can help you with that is really, really beneficial. You have my support. With the skulls, you gotta crush with those um bonus skull enemies. You definitely have to crush the skull even when the foe falls, otherwise they'll come back to life. So you just gotta chase the head and make sure that the you head is destroyed. But how to know the path best traveled? Fretting will get us nowhere. Let us pick a path and see where it takes us. Ah, we're dealing with wolves. And we're dealing with people. And it looks like those spirits came in here too. These guys I'm kind of useless against, but my mages tend to get the job done. Now that it's daytime, I can take this lantern off and let's keep it moving. While traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we that sounds like out? a big enemy. Yeah, it is. All right, looks like we got our work cut out for us. This guy is no joke. We must make the most of this opportunity. 
Looks like we're doing good so far. They're already giving us the victory music. Largely because he's almost down to his only bar of life. That move right there that my sorcerer's pawn does is so devastating. That's an instant kill right there. Yup, there it goes. Instant kill every time. <laughs> That's such a cheat code. Having my other pawn on this account is crazy. It's too overpowered. It's like very hard to lose even against these bigger boss. Partially because she's so strong. It is not long till daybreak, master. We need hold out but a moment longer. Wolves draw near. Ice is not a threat to it. We may have to rethink our strategy. Nice. Well spotted. Indeed. Three wakestone shards. I got a wakestone out of it. Awesome. Alright, doesn't look like much of a fight. Let's keep moving. This is going to be one hell of a journey on our way to the Nameless Village. So I'm probably going to cut. A new destination calls to you, I take it. Oh, say no more. I look forward to seeing where you take us. It is not for us to gain the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. I'm most likely going to just cut to when I am actually make it to the Nameless Village. Since it is quite a journey ahead of me, I'm going to be doing a lot of these little trivial battles on my way over there. If anything exciting happens on my journey, I'll gladly loop you guys in, but it's going to be a bit of a journey. Plus, you guys already seen me discover the Nameless Village anyway, so no need to be redundant in my content. On my journey, there's a lot of these little mini quests. If you ever see these things pop up on your map, you should prioritize doing it. They do give you solid rewards for doing it. So very beneficial to your journey. Helps you to level up a lot quicker as well. Plus you do get some good rewards. It does pay pretty solidly as well. Some of them will ask you to guide them somewhere which is his own journey. You've my gratitude. Others is just defeating the monsters that's in front of them. This is for you. Take it. Nice. 1500 gill goes a long way. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due Let's time. Keep it moving. All right, I'm getting pretty close to my destination. They are always calling for backup. Dang, there's a lot of them. Oh, 
Man, thinned out that herd pretty quickly. Seems like there's a little bit more action still left. I thank you. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, all right, if I remember correctly, the journey is actually through here. However, there is a crazy enemy over here as well. Get into the habit of saving your game. It's definitely going to save you a lot of time in case you run into something you didn't expect and end up not making it. You don't want to have to back travel. All right. So over here, if I remember correctly, there should be one crazy beast. I hope I'm strong enough to take it down. I'm not entirely sure. At last, the moment I've been for. last time I just ran oh, away. <laughs> we're not as weak as we were the last time we came this side. Let's see if we could take this guy down. Look so at this soon. thing. Oh my goodness. Come through on Skype. We mustn't allow ourselves to come Yikes. Yikes. All right, let's take the more cautious approach. Big hit. Looks like we're gonna do it. We're gonna pull this one off. I missed. Man, where is he calling? Oh my goodness. He's on a rampage. Man, I got no stamina. Oh! Wow, on his last breath, he's going crazy. Got him! Had to clutch it out. Jeez. You really wiped this out? <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, let's wait for both of them to come together. Here we go. Saved again. I'll redeem myself yet. Man, he really got snuffed out. Look at his health bar. I mean, look at mine. <laughs> Not that much better. All right. So we do have a lot that we did gain from the beating this guy. At least that's good. I did manage to pick up a bow. This right here is going to be crucial to another mission that's back at the capital. So the, if you recall, the elf did ask me for a bow. I can give him this in order to continue with that mission. So I'll hold on to this until then. For now, let's continue on to the nameless village. Let's see if we can find the pathway. The pathway is a little bit tricky to find. Uh, let me just get my bearings. So I came in this way. Let 
There we go. Found the village. A sharp eye. Suppose I ought not to have underestimated you, Sir Arisen. You wonder how I know? For starters, it isn't just me. The entire village recognizes you for what you are, cuz. Not mysterious about it. With our sources, and that's all I'm saying. But don't worry yourself. I'm actually on your side, in a sense. Can't offer you any help, though. Village code and all that. Still, I suppose I could give you a bit of advice. If I were you, I'd try doing to someone else what I was just doing to you. Know what I mean? I have a hefty wager riding on you, cuz. Don't let me down, eh? All that obscure advice only to depart with nary a word of explanation. Shall we try doing what she did to us then? Um. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. All right, let's carry on with the mission. I know a lot of people in this village are a little bit suspicious of an outsider like me. Be gained from talking to these guys. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Well met, sir. How m you can get some weapons from this shop, but there's nothing here that's really of great value I told you so yeah the stuff that's here I mean you can sell this stuff kind of don't need to though but actually I do have a copy of this in the chest so I might as well make some coin from this. Everything else pretty much could keep. Always a pleasure. It takes two to make a sale, and this seller had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get some rest. Largely because my health bar is a little bit lower than I would like it to be. This is the inn. We've room to spare if you're looking to spend the night. Of course. Nothing's free in this world. I can't get some rest. Um, I'm going to check out some stuff with the vocation first since I did unlock some new moves. This is pretty much the equivalent to a dodge. Um, all right, so as of right now, I'm still a level five with the fighter vocation. Once I max this one out, I'm gonna move on to the archer. A thief is solid as well, but I think archer is gonna be what's next for me. It is one of my favorite vocations in the game, so. That's definitely the one I'm going to tackle next. Do stop by again. This is course. Nothing's free in this world. I have no issue falling asleep 
even at this time. It... A good sleep does wonders. This is the inn. We've room, of course. Nothing's free in this world. I always recommend dropping off the things that you don't need. If it's not necessary to the journey, I recommend leaving it in your chest. And that pretty much goes for everybody in your party. Best to just drop everything off. Do stop by again. Since I did get some extra health from my ring. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly heal up. Fight. Nice. All right, let's continue with the story. So we do have a few things to do in this area. Um, first things first, you want to go all the way up here. Try to talk to this guy. Is there aught else you care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? Let's go through all of the questions with him. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thief mist. Is there aught else you care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see, and your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops, I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, and do with it what you will. Nice. So this, let's check it out. This is a, a tome that's really meant for the thief vocation. So I haven't used the thief vocation as of yet, but this is a move that you do have unlocked um, for the thief vocation. So once you pick up that vocation, You'll be able to equip this move because you earned it from or received it from this master. So pretty dope. I won't use it now. You have to have that vocation equipped 
in order to use that. So I'll use it at a later time. But once you're done with him, wherever we go here, oh, it is enough to make one jumpy. Tis eerie, but we must needs press on. So once you're done with him, you do have another location to go to. And I'll show you where that is right now. You want to come over to this area and talk to Listen, her. You about? You're the outsider. My lord spoke of you. Come on, follow me. I have something real nice to show you. Go and see what she's talking about. And she disappears. No doubt you're dazzled by my charms. They all are. So that door is locked and she completely disappeared. So let's see if we can find exactly where she ended up going. Get back to over here. You want to go to the left. There is a chest over here to the right. That does have some coin in it, but you want to go over here to the left where there is this big, massive hole. I'll gather these. We shall await you here, master. And this is something you got to do alone. This is the cave that you do have to travel through. Um, I hope I could get through this cave as um, a fighter vocation. If not, you could always change your vocation, but let's try it out. Yeah, I really do like this game. It's been one amazing game to play through. Graphics are solid, but the, I mean, the story is kind of background noise compared to what the game is offering. Just the travel of this game is awesome. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> ah, let's try this again. Nice. All right. Let's knock this down just in case. And let's keep it moving. It might take you a couple of tries to get through there. If it does, it's no big deal. You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, 
You lot best pay up. Dear me. All right, so it looks like everybody's in here. The little girl. You're here. I've been waiting for you. This lady from the beginning. My gratitude. Interesting. Let's talk to this guy. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? Um, we don't. Let's continue with this. For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. Oh, so this grants you yet another tome. This one is also for the thief vocation. This whole village is pretty much dedicated to the thieves. So this, you also will have to have the thief vocation equipped in order to use and activate this. But it's also another move that's in that vocation. Looks like that's everything for this area. There is a lot of chests in this area right here. Might as well run through everything. Get as much coin, as much clothes, gear, material, things like that. All of this stuff seems like it's very beneficial to the thief vocation get some new weapons some new gear and let's keep it moving well let's just check out the stuff you get so you do get this pair of pants that's only usable for thieves this ring that reduces the damage taken from fire and you get this weapon which is bigger than what i have now but this is exclusive to the thief vocation 
and this of course is valuable in elven lands so that's something i'll show you guys a lot later but these type of materials that say it's scarcely seen in a certain land those are things that you want to hold on to save it and once you get to those type of lands you would like to sell it so if i get to a elven land this will be perfect to sell in that location since it's scarcely seen there it's going to be worth a lot more than selling it in other places and we're Master, back at the house i thought i might never see you again do you take care not to stray so far next time A reward for our efforts. I expect Captain Brandt will know how to put what we've gleaned to good use. Now to report to Captain Brandt. All right, so we got to go back. You think so? Know where to find the person you're looking to for. Captain Brandt in order to tell him what happened. Guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Two ways to do it: you can follow the guide if you have one, or you can simply use a fairy stone and go back to Vernworth. Ah, for the sake of the video, I could just do that. Me personally, I would prefer to travel on foot just to get there. It's way more beneficial to travel everywhere on foot. The more fights you get in, the higher level you pretty much become. Because you're going to run into more opponents, you're going to fight more, you're going to pick up a lot of things, you open up more of the map. And plus this game, the way that the game is set up, you really do want to travel on foot. It just makes for a better experience overall. Ah, so it seems we've rediscovered an old haunt by a new entrance. How very curious. I wonder what other secrets this place holds. So yeah, for me, it's better to move on foot than anything else. But you can use a fairy stone, which... Uh, let me just double check. I do have three of them right now. If you use a fairy stone, you'll pretty much... Just travel to the port crystal. That's located in Vernworth. It's just an instant transportation. That's pretty much it. So I'll show you that stuff at another time. For right now, I'm just going to travel on foot. And I'll see you guys when I get to. If anything exciting happens, I'll definitely cue you guys in. Did anyone else see that? What catches the light? We ought to take a closer look. That sounds like a big enemy. Where is that coming from? That's got to be like an ogre somewhere, right? It's pleasantly cool here. What with a canopy overhead? Let us hope we make it through without incident. You These are have regular trolls? Are you serious? <laughs> I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require. How are we to get through this door? Well, for this, you can actually get through here. See, this door is locked, but if you do want to get in, you just need one of the range vocations, whether it's archer or something like that, you'll come to the back door over here, take a good shot at the door from this window. So when I swap over to the archer vocation, I'll show you guys, but that's pretty much how you would 
open that door to get inside. There's a few things in there that's worth grabbing. All right, made it back to Vernworth. Now I just got to go talk to Captain Brent and keep it moving. This guy does have a mission. I might as well talk to him Boy now. There, friend. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? Let's hear him out. My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road. But now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the Watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid! I knew I was right to put my faith in you. Now, the carts only depart at certain hours of the day, but I find that time flies when I take a seat at the station to wait. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That's standard practice, and I would advise against trying any funny business. Each car travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? In case it encounters any monsters out on the road. So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with them. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that letter gets to Sir Lennart. Then come find me when the job's done. Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time, seeing as you're doing me a favor and all. Come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting to hear from you. We ought not to keep the recipient waiting. All right, so he wants me to go to Melv in order to deliver the letter. That's something that I'll do at another time. For right now, let me finish off this mission by speaking to Captain Brent. Before proceeding with anything else. But the person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? I'm not sure we're making any progress here. We might want to remind ourselves of the particulars of our task. Yeah, we do have to talk to Brant, but you do have to wait for it to be nighttime. Since it is the middle of the day, he's not gonna be there. Um it's best to get some rest and then continue the mission at that point for me personally i prefer to just roam the open world until nighttime and then i'll just teleport back to vernworth that way you're at least making the most of your time instead of just resting every minute but just stick it to the story i mean i'll just keep it moving once it gets to nighttime i'll go talk to captain brent and progress the story there we go There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. 
I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill will prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So, the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Deesa. This spider has woven her web rather carefully. Let us press on with our next objective. On to the nearest location. Trevo Mine is but a stone's throw from here. Nice. So I was able to complete that mission, which is awesome to me. You do get some pretty solid rewards for it. This is known as the Dragon's Gaze. It pretty much just lets you know where to find wake stones. So it's best to use it in pretty much every area of the map that you cover. That way you can unlock or you can have the wake stones appear on your map. It's great for tracking down wake stones and shards of wake stones. So let's look at it now. So I used it. This entire area in Vernworth. Now you're able to see exactly where the shards are. There's one all the way over here, one here, and one here. This one I know I can't really do right now. This one is probably in the chest in a very strange area. And this one seems like it's on the ground. But yeah, you're able to see the wake stones in this area. If you want to see the wake stones in this area, this area, or this area, you just have to be over there and use the dragon gaze. It will show you all of the wake stones within the region that you use it. It's not going to show you the wake stones for the entire map. It's only going to show you the wake stones or the shards in the area that you use it. So it's good to keep it with you on your journey and remember to use it when you get to new spots on the map. But yeah, let's keep moving outside of that. That's pretty much it in regards to this quest. We do have a few other quests worth doing. There are some side quests and the main quest as well. So I'll tackle a lot of these other things in the next video. I do want to say thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the love and support. All the members of the Rebel family appreciate you guys. New subscribers, welcome to the channel. If you did find this video to be helpful, let me know in the comment section below. Like also goes a long way to helping the channel grow. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for me. It's Rebel Lil. I am out and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Peace.